Hello, it's Sarah. Happy New Year, you guys. 2022. Anywho, in today's video, I'm making a little three and a half by two and a half inch piece of art called an ATC, Artist Trading Card. But this one is made of wood. I got these at uh, Hobby Lobby. Uh, the wood pile, you get eight pieces that are two and a half by three and a half. And I've done these before. Um, let's see, I think they're in here. Like I've painted them, but they're really cool because I don't know, I, I'm very textural and I like that. So these are patterns by Tracy Moreau that I did on ATC cards. I did a couple um, dot painting ones and I know I've wood burned um, a couple before. But anywho, these are going to be mosaics. So this is actually tile, glass tile. I'm using uh, not stained glass, but already pre-cut, prefab type tiles that you can buy. And I, I'm gathering quite the collection. Um, <clears throat> I have a big order that's coming in soon that I'll share with you. But I also use beads. These are uh, Millie Filori. They're called Millie Filori. Um, I have those in several sizes. And then these are little baby rounds that I made the flowers with, but that's actually a bead that you would get in the bead department. So I'll come in. And I'm playing around with these little designs kind of using small pieces and seeing how it feels. Um, I've done some bigger pieces uh, with stained glass and these little uh, pre-cut. Now, that being said, I cut these leaf shapes out of uh, one of these. So it started as a square, and then I just cut it into the leaf shapes. Um, and these, again, same, I just cut it in half and made triangles to kind of represent grass. So today's, I'm going to do similarly. Now, all I did was I'm going to seal and sign the back, but I used my gold leafing pen around the edges. Um, I taped everything off before I grouted, and it was a much neater process. So, And I grouted this with a light color grout. And if you use a dark color grout, it changes the whole thing. So we're gonna, I'm going to play around with that too. So I'm still learning, and I like to take you guys along with me as I go. Um, this one I used my silver leafing pen. But this is what I'm working on today. I think I'm going to do a tree. So what I'm doing right now is I'm auditioning tiles that I think I'm going to use. And for this tree, I'm going to use all these different shapes and sizes of Millefleury. I got a lot of these um, on Etsy, on uh, online stores. And I, I, ha I think Mosaic Trader probably, uh, Wits End Mosaics. There's a few different places, but you just Google it. And, you, and I've even order, ordered from Australia, and, and they have um, Mosaics USA, they have their version. Anyway, I'll let you know when I get my order, but I also, you can find these at Hobby Lobby. They're just much, much smaller. Let me see if there's any green in here. I think I used all those. Here, this is the one I didn't pull all the green out of. I just found this. I reorged my craft room. It is the new year, and we, you know, that's what you're supposed to do. But anyhow, I, I needed to to purge a little bit of some other su supplies that I don't use and make room for the new stuff. Um, so I'm just going to pull out a few of these different uh, greens because that's what I'm thinking. I'm just going to use these to look like the leaves of a tree. I mean, you know, they don't. I'm taking the red one out. Um, that's good enough. I have plenty actually. but. By using all the different sizes, it makes it a little more 3D, so I'm liking that idea. I also have these that I think I got, I've used all the green of these, but they're different sizes. Um, I want to put these, or I'll put them right in here. Anywho, I pulled some browns for this trunk, and I don't even know where I got these, but I've had them in my stash. I think I want to use these, because why wouldn't you? You know, they're glitter tiles. But I also have the, this size brown and lots of different colors because ultimately I could make it look shaded. So I'm trying to figure all that stuff out. Um, I have these little tiny ones, which I love, and they also have an iridescence to them. Again, 
Hello, I love that. So I have the, this little box of all little ones. There's no browns in there. This is, hmm. Anywho, so that's what I'm doing right now. So let's play, shall we? What I'm thinking is, this is looking really good. I like that it gives it that little, I can play around with placement and get it to be full or, um, and there's different shades of green, which I also love because that makes it, again, look kind of like shadowy and highlighty. I don't want all the big ones together. So I'll play around with placement there, but I have to decide what I'm gonna do for my tree trunk. Now the tool that I use for the most part when I'm doing this is my round, my round, let's see what they're called, my wheel nipper, sorry. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is cut one of these up into little, I'm gonna try and cut them into, I'm gonna back out a little cause I get, I forget I'm zoomed in. I'm gonna cut, um, so I just cut a little piece off of that. But I like that because that could be a branch. This could be a branch. So that's what I'm thinking I'm gonna do with this. Now I'm just gonna do my best, try and cut, it's, it's not really going straight. I wanna, st I'll start on, I'll make some shorter ones. So I'll start on this side. See if I can get one here. It's as simple as that. It really is. So now I've got four little, or not four, I think I cut quite a few actually, little pieces of glitter tiles that I can place on here in the shape of a trunk. So I'm gonna play with that. Now I was deciding if I wanted to do roots coming out. I don't know that I wanna do that. We'll see. This is so cool. I'm liking this. Another branchy looking one. The ones that broke like with the tips pointy. I'm gonna come in so you can see. I have to move the camera a little bit forward. So it's closer to me. There we go. Um, and what else? I have this thicker one. So obviously that makes me feel like it's more at the trunk. But um, I don't know if I want to add other types of, like what if I cut one of these into the same type of stuff? So I'm going to try and cut this into little pieces too. And, and then I can use this as filler and it, it'll make the trunk look kind of more, you know, I don't know what it'll make it look. <laughs> I'm playing around. I call this auditioning. I'm just auditioning different types of, you know, I mean, I, I have a gap there, but that's looking pretty cool. That's looking very much like what I hoped it would look like. So look, if I put that there, it looks a little too fat at the bottom. And I mean, this is, I don't know if I'll ever, if I'll be able to get this, unless I love it, I'm gonna glue it right now. But let me cut a little more, another one of these uh, glitter ones up. And just see, now this one has a blemish. Let me see if a little spit can get that off. It seems like it might be, yeah, I don't have to use that part, but I'm gonna cut it. I'm just gonna keep going, try and keep these. This is the blemished side. I just cut the blemish off. I think the glitter is kinda falling in my hand. So these are very odd shaped bits and pieces. Now, traditionally, I could just build the trunk out of squares and that would look fine, you know, but I'm trying to be a little more uh, artistic here or something. I always go to Pinterest and I have a look at what other people have done 
And I really get inspiration when I do that. I, I get things are kind of in my head of what I want to do, but then it just comes to life in front of me. I don't, I'm not copying what they did. I just know that someone made a tree and they, they used millefilori as their um, uh, leaves. Now I have these pieces for grass today. I got, of course, some more glitter. These were such a cool color of green. I just really love that. So on this one, where's my other one? I used just some of those squares, um, these squares. But, and I just kept it simple. I didn't go with anything very small. All of this background tile is this size. So I'm going a little smaller. See, these are smaller than that, a tad. Um, anywho, these are tiny. Um, so, I mean, I could just play around. I could put these, I mean, I could get real, uh, again, not as artsy and just really make a pattern down here. That would look fine. Like if I put them on the angle, which I don't love because I don't want to leave a big gap on the bottom. This is what I did on this one. I made a frame first, which I'm not doing on this one, which is probably a big mistake. But what that enables me to do is really keep it neat when I grout. So it, it just looks neater, and as an ATC, if someone's handling it or something, I just don't want anyone to get cut. So it's just something to consider. I may, I could still do that. I have plenty of um, tiles that I could use. I'm really debating. Here's the other thing I could do is just cut a bunch of triangles, like cut these into triangles. That's what I think I'm going to do. Watch what, see, as I'm talking, I thought of that. Um, if I cut these in half as best I can and just lay them along the bottom. I'm shaking because I had two cups of coffee today. It's already afternoon though. All right, and then I can put these, I think I'm gonna do it, just because I like it. It, it, it. That like straight line makes me feel good. And if I leave that like that, it also gives a little bit more of a grass feel. That's my, you know. Now, I didn't use these. Maybe I'll do these on the bottom. But these aren't gonna fit as well because they're different sizes. It's decisions, decisions. All right, we'll, we'll get back to that. But you see where I'm going? So this is what this process is for me. It's just auditioning all of my different um, pieces and uh, seeing what feels good. Now for the sky, I got this tile, which is a sample that they sent me from an Etsy store, I'm pretty sure. Let me go back up. I always forget I'm zoomed in. And it's called Cloudy Blue. And it's made of, this tile is called something. Um, vit vitreous glass. The thing I don't like about it is when you cut it, it's very difficult because, let me pull this off here. It has this, it's really good for um, sticking in mortar or that's I think the, the reason they make the back this way. It's a little lumpy and bumpy. It has definite, it's not like this tile that's just the same on both sides. It's easier to make a shape out of this. When I cut this, it's going to be difficult to, I'm just going to cut it into triangles, I think. I think I'll be able to use triangles and just kind of crazy pave, but I love it. I just think this is going to really look nice in the sky. Now, what I did for this sky, my thought was I would start darker because the flowers, it would be shaded in here, you know. The flowers are crowded down here, and then as it went up, it would get lighter. So that's what I did here. I used three different shades of the, these little blue tiles. Um, but I'm not going to do that on this one. I'm going to do, I think I'm just going to stick with this. And it's just a gorgeous tile. I think she's very smart to send a sample because then someone's going to use it and think, man, that's gorgeous. It's got an iridescence to it. It's got all this different patterning. I love it. The only problem, I don't love vitreous for cutting because, like I said, it's, it's, I can cut a triangle pretty decent. I'll see. Triangles aren't, you know, they're not going to come out as good as, but if I'm crazy paving, meaning I'm just kind of filling the spaces and I can cut that again. So this is what I'm going to do to fill in. But see, then the other thing is, 
it doesn't lay flat because it has this um, beveled edge. I don't know if I'm going to use it. It's probably smarter if I use... I can make it work. We'll see. I'm gonna, I'll decide that step in the next video. But for right now, I want to get this trunk. And I like the idea. Now, here's another thing. Do I want to use a different color brown to get highlighting? Let me just cut a few little shaves of this. And I'll play with that as well. If you want it, the tree trunk is round, right? So what if we make it darker on the, or it would be lighter on the very middle and get darker as it went around. So it would be light in the middle, which I'm not thinking that's going to be cool. Maybe it would be darker in the dips and crevices and it would be lighter on the edges. Yeah, I'm not, I don't think that light color is going to be great. And I, I save all this. I have a little, um, it's one of those things that you get for your tools, like to keep all your nuts and bolts and different things. It's a little drawer pull. So I put all these pieces in here. Like I'll put all this brown in here so that I, if I do a project where I need little bits and bobs, I can find them. Um, so what else did I want to try? Oh, by the way, I did seal this first, and I, I don't always do that, but I have this little bottle of, um, this is like glue and water mixed and you just paint the surface with it and then you're ready to go. Let it dry and you're ready to go. I forgot to tell you that part. Um, so I think I'm going to go away when I've made all these decisions. Uh, was there anything else I wanted to tell you? So let me see about these little pieces. Um, I could make triangles and kind of I just love the look of this this is what I'm loving I don't even know if I need these little pit pieces because I cut all these other I mean it just looks so tree like to me now that being said when I put these in maybe I don't want too many branches because I really have a lot of these and I, I love the look of them so I only have four of these big guys but I have lots of little ones of these. I think it's going to look fine. Um, so I think I'll be back when I've made all my decisions. When I've decided what I'm using for my grass. When I've decided my tree. And then I'll be right back. Alright, I've made a decision on my grass. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I do. Now, I got this bottle from David Jarvanen, his name is. <coughs> oh no. I hope I don't have a fog. I'm just going to put a little thin line there. But it's so handy because the uh, nib on the um, glue bottle, the big glue bottle that I use, is very wide and it's too um, bulky for this little intricate work. So that little, um, I took a class, this, this sugar skull class with him on mosaic arts online and um i ordered the supplies from him it, it didn't tell you to but i just wanted to do it with the same supplies that he had and um i ordered, I ordered this from him my son just came downstairs and kiwi's telling him uh i'm here all right so i want to do that so i'm using both i'm so excited I cut the little one in half too so that I could do, I'm just going to put a tiny dot of glue. David also said, a dot's a lot, no wait, wait, a lake's a mistake, something like that. Um, so meaning you only need a dot. You don't want the glue to squeeze out from under the tile. Um, if it dries lumpy and bumpy it will block you from being able to put another tile where you um up against the other one um you know i'm just crafting i'm not i'm not a professional i'm just playing and i just share with you guys the little bits of knowledge that i get um i love youtube for that reason i get so much um, knowledge from 
other people who share with me. So I think that's all I'm going to do for my grass. I think I'm good with that. I could probably do <clears throat> another row, but I don't think I need to. I want to save more room for the trunk. So that's all I've decided so far. I think what I want to do next is decide if I'm going to put little tendrils of um, roots. So this, I might need to find, and I could put this off to the side. There's a lot of other design areas that you could play around with, but I'm just keep, this is the focal point. It, it's the only thing I'm going to do on here as a tree. Um, so I like, all right, I'll be back when I've decided. All right, I think I'm liking the way this looks, the way it's connected to the ground. So I'm going to glue. I just have to glue that down. And then I can, because it's I keep playing like a puzzle. Um, not in love with that yet. This I really like, so I think I'm gonna try gluing this in place. I just cut a little uh, square. Oops, seems like I have a have a blockage. A little square piece of that glitter tile to fit here. really like the way that kind of flowed together and then this piece kind of made that trunk area or the root area I'm sorry the roots and then this this kind of had that little bend in it to where it like kind of I like that a lot so I think I'm going to glue those. I'm going to I'm going to do it. I'm going to stick with this. Um, do I want it to be narrower? I, t I turned it over. And then I'm going to put you right down here. Really don't need a lot of glue. Weld bond is a very um, strong white glue good for uh, wood and glass it really I need to flip that I flipped it and I'm flipping it back because it just needs to fill that space there we go much better I'm gonna put a little piece of that other kind of tile right here to fill this space I have tweezers and I have um, just don't work really well for me. These are actually from uh, Origami Owl. I think I'm going to glue him there. I'm going to find my other uh, tool. I have these tweezers. I got these at um, probably Michael's. Um, and I have not worked with them very much but I watch people on um, tutorials that use tweezers and like pick stuff up like this and like well there I just did it <laughs> it worked pretty good all right now I just want it to get more kind of stop here and that's where the tree's gonna go so maybe I should place these where I want them I have five of them I just think that looks the way it should look. I don't know. Um, because, and then fill in with all these little guys. And I don't know that I want to put, if I want to put the, the branches in there first or use them as filler. Because I think it could just look pretty with all green and no brown up there. But initially I did like the idea of having at least one branch or two so let me just throw these up here um, but again I will go away and I'll make these decisions off camera and um, I think we're in the home stretch I love it I'm gonna um, nope, that's my one with the little uh, okay 
So I just have to finish the trunk and I want it to go um, a little thinner. So let's move this off here. But I think I'm going to go like this. See, they kind of have to be together. That looks good. And then maybe I'll use another piece of the brown. It really looks good like that. I don't know. It looks a little too one, two, three, you know. But I can't, you know, it really looks <clears throat> like it's supposed to. I could make it go like that and start the V. I only have this one piece of the other type of tile, which I don't love because I'd like to include this. I'll fill it in here. I will. I'll fill. These can be filler as the tree starts to branch out. I'll make a branch here and here and like there. I th and I think I'm going to be done with uh, the tree. And then I'm going to fill in the whole rest of the uh, piece with... I um, don't love this one. Let me see if I can audition a different one here. It's got that nice curve to it that, I'll, that I really like. Uh, kind of like that better and then make that kind of be a branch I think this might even look better if I went like that I could always have little um, I think I'm gonna glue that I like that that looks good all right so I'll be right back all right now I've played around that's as far as I'm going with the tree but I've played around with, I ran out, like I have these tiny little tiny ones I could add. But I thought, let me pull up some of this dark green. And I like that. I like the way that looks. I ended up grabbing these little lighter color, really pretty. I love this color green. And pop them in there too. And I don't think it's bad. It's just not all circles. You know what I mean? Like I think it's doable. Um, but I don't know that I haven't pushed it too far. The other issue is that there is no room to really make a border that's going to be, like on this one, a really nice edge. So I, you know, as I'm going, I'm so excited and I think, oh, this is great. But then I'm like, now I'm going to be piecing in pieces. Now I like it tall. But that being said, it does not have to be that tall. It could be less tall and more droopy. You know, like look, as I strip it away, ugh. I mean, it still looks good. This is kind of a little too droopy. So that looks good too. Now on the only issue is on the sides. I don't have room on the side to really make a nice edge. So do I forego having the nice edge? which it's just for me it's such an easier way to growl and all that and it looks really neat and finished um because this is a little handheld piece of art i just am i'm wondering if it's going to be annoying um I'm trying to see if there's anything around me that i've done lately okay so for instance here's my angel let me show you this so okay so here's the edge of the angel when I do it with a nice um, kind of consistent shape and size. But then when you have to make these turns, it gets real choppy and you can cut yourself and all that. And it's just a pain in my experience to growl and all that stuff. Um, see, even cutting these half circles on the bottom made a nice kind of finished area and it looks okay on the sides it's just really the wings um but that being said i gotta do what like 
<laughs> you know, uh, I think I'm going to wing it. I think I'm going to make it work. I really like bringing up the dark green. That's really calling me right now. I don't like that these three big ones are together. So I got to put uh, some small ones in there. I don't like that these are all together. I don't like that. That's just my eye saying something's... Uh, I've got to shift it. Maybe I don't need that one. Um, I have three, so it's the rule of threes, right? I can put that there. Um, let me put this other little one up here. I think these look kind of leafy, those little triangles. So I have one, two, three of the dark green triangles right now. I'm liking it, though. Kiwi, are you liking it, my little bird? Yeah, it's a tree. I'm very happy with it. Joe came in. He was going out, and he said, Wow, I like that tree. <laughs> um, I mean, I could put a little bird on top if I had a little, like, a little bead shaped like a bird or something like that, but I'm going to leave it. Um, so I'll be back when that's glued, and then we're going to have to figure out the background. All right, all glued. I like it. I'm disappointed that I couldn't get go bigger but I had I like I said I really and I mean that's not true because now that I'm thinking of it I could push all the green out to the edge dang it I just put it all away um you know like so what if I had green and then I just filled in with blue and put maybe a little blue like, I don't know if I want green all the way out to the corner, but I could put, um, so I did cut up some of the, uh, this tile, the cloudy, the cloudy blue. Um, these are all the decisions you gotta make, but like, I'm just gonna play with this since it's a whole tile. These are just some, uh, of these style. I could go around it with green because I for some reason I just really want to go further with the green I think I'm out of milliflory really this is all I have left so it's not like I have a ton of room to fill I think that's it <laughs> I think I don't think I have any more I put some of the triangles that I did cut. Yeah, I, I don't really think I need it. I think I'm going to stick with what I did. Like maybe one more there. I keep... Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick off this little one and put this bigger one here. This is the only little one I used. I'm pretty sure I'm just put this bigger. Um, I just think it can come out further here. And then I think I will put um, just take this all the way over to the edge. I think I just like the shape of it better. It's a little more loose on the edge. I could put something. I have these tiny ones. Don't need it. It goes a little bit that way, but I really don't care. I can put in um, a little triangle. Oh, Kiwi's, I mean, Ginny's dreaming. Like, I could fill this with this triangle, actually. Maybe put... Like, up against the edge. I like that. I think it pulled it this way. I think I'm going to do this. I could actually cut one of these to fit, like, really good up against the edge. Uh, what's the matter, Kay? I mean Kirby, Kirby. I lose track of my fam, of my aminals. 
see if this fills that space. It's a little too big. This is a half of a half, that's why. This is too big. Let me see if I can make this. I cut the triangle in half, and I think they're all the same. This is the same. This is big. I'll use this. Okay. I'm going to put it there, though, because I think the dark blue can go there. I mean, sorry, dark green. The way that I have this green, 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 like it's spaced out pretty good. I could probably put one up here if I were pulling it. Yeah, I like that, actually, you know? And then one could go down here, too. A small piece. Hey, Kerbo. What's the matter? Did something scare you? Something. I think the snow is melting. I'm in South Jersey, and the uh, when the snow melts, it, like, crashes down a little bit. See, I like that. I think I'm going to just widen it out. Let's see if I want to change this. No, nope, I think I'm going to put it right here, just the way it was. It's so crazy. Like, this is such a tiny little thing, and I'm, I take it so seriously. I mean, it really is just a playful little piece of art, but I, I think that kind of spread it around better. Something about it, I, I just, my eye likes it. Um, just going to try and put this one here and see how I, I like that, but I think I like up against here better. There we go. So, if you know what I mean, this kind of now has a flat edge there. So that's going to be good. But that's what I'm going to be trying to do. Now, there's a space. There's a gap in there. It's okay. The, the grout will fill that. This one was so nice to grout because I used all of the same width tiles. I haven't done that very much. I, I tend to use mixed media, meaning all different shapes and sizes and heights and um, it really makes a difference when you use all the same it's such an easier way to go for grouting like um, anyway I like the look of the different shapes um, now uh, what I was planning on doing was doing this uh, cloudy sky blue that I have it has all this sticky stuff on the bottom not gonna see that and just putting these along the edge to make that um, nice, consistent. But that being said, this is that beveled edge, and I just don't like it. I'm so disappointed because on a small piece like this, all that would mean, okay, so what it's going to mean is when I grout, you're going to see the, the grout is going to fill under. Is it still filming? Am I? Yeah, okay. It's going to fill this. So you'll see grout on the edge instead of the tile, which that's what you see on this one. Anyway, um, it's just me thinking out loud. That being said, I have to decide. I have these, and I'm really tempted. I have a whole big bag of these um, that I could fill the whole thing with. It's such, I think I might do this because you know what? It's shiny and it's consistent and I can work with it it's easy to cut it'll be fine so I did just cut a bunch of them in half it's okay they were free <laughs> and I will set them aside so what I'm gonna do is cut these in half because the piece is small I'm gonna zoom back up uh, I don't I want to use smaller tesserae tiles uh, bits and pieces because I just think it, I don't know, that's what my mind is telling me to do. I don't think there's any right or wrong to it. Um, so I'm just cutting these in half. And I'm going to kind of, I was thinking I could go horizontally. That would probably look cool because it would give you more of a horizon line. But I was thinking of going up and down. I kind of want to go up and down. 
these are all the little decisions. You know what? I got to audition everything then. Let's audition. I'll put them up and down. I mean, up and down goes with the tree, the line of the tree, right? The line of the piece. It might feel better to your eye to look at the tiles. And I was thinking I would kind of counter, um, not make all the grout lines, you know, make it like a brick wall, in other words. So not, I kind of like that. And let's try this side going across. And I'm just eyeballing it. I'm not uh, going to measure anything. And it could be a little wonky, but that's okay. So again, I just want it to be off kilter a little, so I'll have to cut a few. Man, this is a tough, this is tough. Nothing's really calling out to me of right or wrong. Sometimes it, it really makes itself clear when I, you know, when I do this. It's like, yep, I know where I'm going. Um, dude, this is tough. I'm going to go up and down. I just gonna, I'm going to keep that line moving. All right, so let's go. I'm going to start, and I can come back when I'm finished gluing because uh, it, it isn't, it's really fudgy. You know how I like to say fudgy? I'm going to cut this a tiny bit so that it can fit up here. Up against that. I could have done it a bit better, but it is what it is. Sorry, my nose, I sniff a lot. I've gotten comments about how much I sniff. Can you believe that? I do sniff a lot, though. Um... I could, and I think I will, kind of while I, um, I'm going to make this butt up against that tile right here. Then I can start filling. It's going to be a little less uh, brick wally, but I think you get the idea. And I, I'm not even in the shot. I will go away when I finish and I will let you see. It's going to look so cool. I'm very excited about it. it it's fun. Um, yeah, I mean, the grout lines <clears throat> aren't as far away from each other as I thought they would. Now, I will, I will or I won't, I'm not sure, fill all the little gappy gaps, but <clears throat> let me just start doing this little edge too. I'm going to try to do the same thing I did over here and just make it butt up against the, the little rounds a little bit better by just trimming a little. I could, I could go a little further. I'd like it to go right up against this green one. So I'm just going to cut it a little bit skinnier there. In other words, say it's gonna, there we go. That's that's the, the idea. And see these are much taller than that, uh, the little, these guys, which I have one more left. <laughs> it's so hard to stop, man. That's my hardest thing. No, I don't need it. I don't need it. Um, yeah, so, uh, I forgot, I forgot what I was going to say. There's a little piece of glass on the tile. I don't know how they make these tiles, like, with a mold or whatever. But they are glass, and I don't like that one. I'm going to put him here. I like working with these. They're very easy to cut with these wheeled nippers. I did order some, oh, I can't think of the brand name of it, but the the type of, um, it's a matte finish. So of course that doesn't shout out to me, but it's a, uh, not 
glass, the other one, pottery, but I can't think of what it would be. Now, I, I don't know if I should have made this filled in or not. Um, I'm still th trying to think of the damn name of what I'm trying to tell you. Um, pottery. I can't think of it. I'm so sorry. Anyway, I bought some because that's what David Jarvin and we used that in the mixed media piece that I did with him to... Uh, and we made flower petals, and it was really easy to cut, is what I'm getting at. Um, I think I'm going to try and fit this little triangle in here. And it's by a specific brand name that everybody loves, and they had it at the place. So I'll, I'll do a share. Um, when I get the uh, my order. All right, I'm going to go off and finish, and I'll be right back. All right, it is done. I like it. I especially love the way the grass goes right into the trunk, and then the one thing I regret is that I could have just made this. This side's going to be fine. Like, see how it's all smooth? The top is good. There's just this little gap here. This is just going to be grout. I really couldn't fit any other piece. I tried to like cut the little blue piece to fit there. It's just not going to go. I also thought about removing this, this piece of green and or cutting it in half. I could possibly do that, but then I have this one too. So I'm going to go with this. The grout will just go up against the side. I thought about filling this little triangle there. I get crazy when I have to fill in little spots. Like there's there's a couple gaps, but the grout will go in there. That's what I have to realize. But look at that shine. I think I like the up and down now that all is said and done. I mean, it is what it is. It definitely looks like a tree. And I'm debating. I think I'm going to grout this one with the gray. Kiwi had a tile. I think I'm going to grout this one with the gray grout. So, I mean, that's the biggest thing for me. Like, if I would have grouted this with gray grout, this these little lines wouldn't be as, you know, show up. Oh, and it was por porcelain. I think it's porcelain, and it's Hemaker or Hel Helgelman's, Henkelman's, or something like that, porcelain. Wegmans, I don't know. Wegmans is a grocery store. Um, but anyway, I will let you know. And um, I'll come back when it's all grouted. Maybe I'll do it tonight, but um, you should really give it a good 24 hours for the glue to set up. It was fun. I like doing this because this is what I found out during Christmas was doing the little ornaments was so fun because you get it done so quick. So you could do, you know, have an afternoon and just finish a project. And, um, you know, I just did, I'm going to pull it over. I might as well. Um, but that's the end of this little project. But this one I just want to share with you. Um, I grouted it today, and it really looks different when it's not grouted. I mean, this was this is gray. See the gray grout? Um, and I got it. I got to do the final shine on it. But uh, it really is a different animal. Cause see, there were a lot of um, big gaps in here, and that I left them because I knew the grout would fill it in. Um, you know, it is what it is. I'm going to do a final polish. I could probably do it now. It's all dry. Um, and see how messy it gets. But this is for me. This was actually a piece that I had done a dot mandala on that I did not like. So I decided to put tile on it and I put a bunch of mirror. I don't know where I'm going to put it, but it is what it is. I'm going to spray it and I'll give it a wipe and it should come up great. But that's the difference. So I think you can kind of tell what gray would look like. This is the same blue that I used on here. And then here's the alabaster. Um, this is done in alabaster as well. 
I think both of these, and I love my unicorn, OMJ. He is my fave. I love him. Um, but this is the alabaster. It just, I wanted it to blend, or no, this might even be white because I used a non um, sandy grout. Anyway, the wings would have looked so different if I'd have used gray, but I knew I wanted them to kind of blend, like blend, and then the dress came out more um, separate. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Um, and of course, I wanted him to like kind of be blended. I wanted it to blend together, and then it made the, I think it made the flowers pop way more than they would have if it was gray. So that's what I try to think of when I'm deciding what color to use for grout. Um, and I mean, maybe I should have used the alabaster for this because of all the mirror. I don't know. It's just tough. And, and, and I've heard two people do two colors of grout. Like I could have, you know, you can change, you can put uh, white in here and dark there if you want to. So um, I'll let you know. All right, you guys, happy new year. Thanks for watching.